So, um, solving systems of linear equations, you cannot solve them algebraically. You can only solve systems of any equations graphically. The solution is an ordered pair that makes up makes all of them true. It's a point in the overlapping shaded region. Here's how you solve a system of linear inequalities. You graph one. You graph the second one. Where the two overlap, that's your answer. You cannot solve it any other way other than graphing. You graph one you graph one inequality, graph the line, shade one side or the other. Graph the second one, shade one side or the other. Where the two overlap, that's your solution area. Now you can't solve it algebraically. There is no algebraic solution to do it. Okay, you have to solve, you have to solve it graphically. You cannot do it any other way other than graphing. Now we did the graphing of each one individually. We did individual inequalities on Thursday. Today we're just going to do two at the same time. Okay. Any questions so far? Not that I expect any. But. Okay. So you graph each one individually. I am going to move this equation down just to give myself a little more room to show my work. So So I graph the first line, y is greater than 2x minus 4. My y-intercept is negative 4. My slope is 2, but I make it a fraction 2 over 1. So my y-intercept is negative 4. I put a dot on negative 4. Excuse me. I'll come back to it later. Um, so my slope is 2 over 1, rise over run, up 2 over 1, 2 over 1. And then I need to draw a line, and the question is, my first question is, is this a solid line or is it a dashed line? It's a dashed line because it's not or equal to. It's just greater than. So it's a dashed line. And then I have to shade above or below. Y is greater than that, so it's everywhere above. And that's my answer for the first equation. That's not for the system, that's just the first equation. Graph the line, shade one side. Okay. Then I do the same thing for the second equation. My y-intercept on this one is 4. My slope on this one is negative 3 fourths. So I put a dot on 4 on the y-axis. My slope is negative 3 fourths. I like to do my run in the positive direction and then do my rise down. If you do them both negative, two negatives make a positive. Only one of them is negative. So I go over 4, down 3, 4, negative 3. That's what I like to do. Then I draw a line. Is this line dashed or solid? Uh, solid? This one's solid because it's or equal to. I got the little extra line here. I got to fill in the lines on this. So I have a solid line. Okay. And then I want everywhere y is less than that. So it's everywhere. Y is less. That is my solution for the blue one. That is not my solution for the system. My solution for the system is where do they overlap? Where do they overlap? That's my answer. That's my answer. Where the two shaded areas overlap, that's my answer. Okay. Now, before I continue on, 
I know that most of you do not have colored pencils with you or pens or markers. There's two things you can do when you're doing this. If you were to graph, let's say I got the first one. Notice what I did on this. I just did lines. Okay. And then I did the second one. And I did lines coming off of that one. Okay. My area is where this crosshatch is. So if you've got a pencil that would look like this, and then take your pencil. And shade that in so you know where the answer is. That's what it would look like if you have a pencil. I use colored pens because I've got colored pens and I can tell very easily where they are. The other thing that the students often do is they will use a highlighter and go over this with a highlighter, which I really like that one too. I really love when the students do that. Yes? Yeah, if you can do that, that's fine. I'm just You want to make sure you are definite showing me where the shaded area is where the two overlap. You have to be clear about that. Okay? That's what I'm looking for. With me, several different colors, it works just fine. If you don't have several different colors, you have to come up with something else that will work. Okay. So here's my next example. Same idea. Graphing the system. I want to graph one, then graph the other. So I'm going to graph this first one here in green. And my y-intercept is negative 3. My slope, once again, is 2. So I go to negative 3, and I go up 2 and over 1. And then this is a, is this solid line or dashed line? You need to know the difference. Solid or dash? It's a dashed line because it's not or equal to. And then from here, I shade one side or the other. Y is less than 2x minus 3 because it's Y is less than. I shade the underside. I like that you test a point instead. Now, if it's Y equals, you can do more, greater than or less than. But only because it's Y by itself. That's a very good question. So why by itself you can go above or below based on the greater than or less than. If you don't have y by itself, you can't do that. So in the next one, I can't do that. So the next one, I'm going to graph using x and y intercepts. I let x be 0, and I get y equals 2. I let, x, I let y equal 0. I get 2x equals 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals 1. So these are my intercepts. 2 on the y, 1 on the x. And then once again, on this one, do I have solid or dash? Got dashed on this one. Now, I can't use greater than or less than on this because it's not y equals. What I have to do is pick a point. What's the easiest point to test? Zero, zero. Zero, zero, the origin. Always the easiest number because I just put in zero for x, two times zero, zero. Zero for y, greater than two. Is zero plus zero greater than two? No. This is no or false. Which means that point is not in my shaded area. So the side of the line that contains the origin doesn't work. So the origin is here. Here's my line. I shade the other side. If it's true, the point I tested is in my shaded area. This is false. The point I tested is not in my shaded area. And where's my answer? Right here. Now, I like doing systems of inequalities. Those are the ones that I like. 
you can only solve them by graphing. Graph one, graph the other, where do they overlap? Okay, here's the hard question. What is the system represented by it? So I have to figure out the lines. So I have two lines, one's shaded, one's, one's shaded above, one's shaded below. I use X and Y, I use MX plus B on this one. I find the slope, I find the y intercept of each line. Okay, so I have Y, so I'm going to do the first one, which is red line, which is red on here. So I'm going to do it red on here, I get Y. My Y intercept. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. Five, and then my slope, drawn a triangle. And it would be one, two, three, four over. One, two, down two. So my y-intercept is 5. My slope is negative 2 over 4. You always reduce fractions if you can. So this would be negative 1 half. So I have y, negative 1 half x plus 5. And x plus b. Now, the question is, is it greater than or less than? Is it possibly or equal to? So is the area I have for this red line shaded above or below? It's hard to tell what the shared area, but if I look at the line right here, it's white above and red below. So y is less than because it's below. Y is less than, and it's not or equal to because my line is a dashed line. I do the same thing for the second one. I'm going to do y, and I'm going to do mx plus b, so I need to find my y-intercept, which in this case is negative 1. And then I do my slope. The slope actually is pretty easy on this one. Over 1 and up 1. My slope is 1 over 1, which is 1. So I have y and 1x, but we don't write 1 in front of the x minus 1, and then I have to decide is it greater than, less than, or equal to, or not or equal to. So this blue line, is everything shaded above or below that blue line? Above. above, and here it's much easier to see that it's above here. So y is greater than, and because it's a solid line, it's or equal to. Okay? Questions? Graph one, graph the other. Where they overlap, that's your answer.